Alright, so here we have an iPhone 5 with a broken screen. First thing we do is remove these two panel lobe screws on the bottom of the phone. And now unlike the iPhone 4, where you have to remove everything to get to the screen, here, you can simply pry the screen out. And that's what I'm going to do. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Uh, repair technicians have been having dreams about this since the 4 came out. Now, the, the screen and the uh, touch screen and the camera, earpiece and all that nonsense are all, are all going here. So you have to take this cover off, which is held on by three screws. Now, I haven't exactly you know, zoomed on in on this with a microscope, but uh, I may mention that these three screws all appear to be of the same size. Not like the uh, cover on the older iPhone, where you have five different screws of five different sizes. Okay, now I can unplug. Should I get a better view here? I'm learning how to be less of a, a shitty cinematographer. All right. Unplug these. Again, be careful when using your nail to not rip resistors off the board. That's, that, that's very bad. Okay, so now we have the home button down here. There's a little metal piece that goes over, over the home button. And this is the home button flex. Now you can most likely remove this flex by just pulling on it, but being the scared noob that I am and seeing that you know, I haven't done a ton of iPhone 5s yet, and I don't have any replacement foam flexes, I like to put a little bit of out, just to have a little bit of alcohol over here, and slowly pry it off. And for all I know, you can remove that very easily, but I'm not about to figure that out while I don't have any home flexes. Now, unlike the 4S, home button that's attached with the tape where you have to pry it off on each side and try not to rip it. On this one, all you have to do is push on the button and the force from you pushing will eventually push the thing off. Now of course it's not doing it now because I'm making a video about it, but for every other iPhone 5 I've done so far, I have not had to do anything, no alcohol, no nonsense, I've just pushed and it's come right off. Yep, gotta love it. go, snapped, snapped off. Now there's this frame. There's going to be two screws on this side. Move those. Two screws on this side. Move those. Screw at the top, screw at the bottom, and then you've got this, this metal piece here that holds this, you know, the earpiece and the front facing camera and all that jazz in place. Move that screw. And also keep note, as with other videos, I'm taking the screws out exactly as they go into the phone. I'm not put dumping them all in one pile. Now again, the com most common question is, how do you know where all the screws go? And my standard answer is, I have no idea. That's why I take them out, 
the way they're supposed to be taken out. And I put them back in in the exact same way I took them out. Cheating, but yeah. And you can lift this little frame up out of the phone. And same thing over here. I'm sure that you can just pull this thing right on out and it will come right out, but I don't have any webcams for the, for the iPhone 5. So I can't really afford to figure out how hard I can pull this right now. So since I can't afford to figure out how hard I can pull this, I'm just using little dabs of alcohol, making sure not to get them in the webcam, just under the cable, to loosen it a little bit so that I can pull it up. For all I know, you can this thing will pull right off, no effort. Do I want to figure that out right now? No. Oh no. Oh no. Probably the most difficult thing in this industry, and it's so freaking juvenile and silly, is knowing when you can pull really, and you're supposed to pull really hard on something to make it uh, come out, and knowing when if you just so much as look at it the wrong way, it will fall into pieces. So this is our old screen. We don't, we don't need anything from here anymore. Now let me get a new one. Here is our new screen. Now because of how ridiculously expensive this thing is, I'm treating it very nicely. So. There's our frame. wiping it down with alcohol because it looks kind of nasty. And the bottom screw is shorter than the top screw of the frame, and the side screws are all the same size. Would I remember this? No. Do I need to remember this since I took all the screws out and put them in the exact place that they're supposed to go back in? I don't need to remember at all. Don't need to remember at all. Short side story while I'm doing this, this piece of shit screen cost over $120. About one one and a half months ago, a, a friend of mine was talking about how he could, he could if, you know, if he bought, I think, 500 of these, he could get them for 150 and it would be the original, and I was trying my best to talk him out of it. I'm not sure if he actually wound up going ahead and did it. Hey, how's it going? Do it. So, on the 5, they include the earpiece on the same cable as the webcam. Make sure you align this properly so that else nobody will be able to hear anything. Because this little bead has a tendency to jump out right after you put it in the phone. So you may have to use something like a screwdriver to push it in there. and watch the entire time you're pushing the webcam into the phone that that piece of shit doesn't jump back out. Make sure to align these two copper pads perfectly so that the earpiece will still work when you plug it into the phone. 
So you don't have it be jagged in any way. So it should look something like this. I curse all the time. Alright, so. Look at it in the front and make sure that the camera is lined up perfectly with the hole. Now the cover can get screwed back in. Now this is one of the few screws in an Apple product where you're not supposed to tighten it all the way because if you tighten it all the way, you'll actually wind up cracking everything. So tighten it until it, this is here is kind of flat looking. But don't tighten it all the way or you'll, you'll just wind up destroying it and it'll be sad. Sad event for everybody. Double check that your earpiece is still in that hole after you've put this on. If you put the button back and don't be one of those people that puts it back in diagonally so that it looks like a diamond instead of a square. Take some time. Now all that's left to do is uh, plug it back into the phone. Once you've plugged it back into the phone, hold it steady with your finger before you can find this little metal piece to put back on. You may think that you're putting too much, flex, uh, too much pressure on your LCD cable, but if the LCD that you bought is such a piece of shit that doing that is going to break it, you probably bought a crappy LCD to begin with. So don't worry about it. Unless you bought shitty parts. But I'm sure you're all buying from me if you're watching this video. Push. While uh, holding this down and positioning the screwdriver, I did use my chin to hold the screwdriver for a second in place. Yeah. No. At this point, you should only have two Penelope screws left on your table. If you have more, you have fucked something up. Before you close it, there is technician's luck you should check for. Make sure that it actually turns on turns on, you're good. If you close it before testing it, it won't actually work. Don't ask me where that comes from. But, yeah.
push it in on all the sides. Voila. It's nerve-wracking. It's weird. Like, you have to take the whole thing apart. That's crazy. So I just take this off. Mm -hmm. Get his nail. It's so weird. Okay. Can I paint the card? Sure. Okay. 